Hi everyone, Coach Maboop here. Welcome to another session of my awareness videos. Okay guys, I've got a question for you out there. What is success about? To me, success is about making the best out of what you have or making the best out of the little that you have. So those are the kind of things that I would like you guys out there to think about. What have you got? What have you got now that is disposable to help you to achieve in other areas of your life? Welcome to another session of my self-awareness videos. Today I'd, I'd like to talk about strength. What is strength and what meaning does it have to you? How do we utilize strength in our daily life and turn it into something real good that can work for us? Personally, personally strength to me means going against resistance, some kind of resistance. In our day-to-day -day life, we're always going against some, some kind of resistance, whether it be in the workplace or at home. In terms of dealing with people, whether it be verbal conflict, physical conflict, but strength is the ability to hold back when something can be harmful for you. Strength. Strength has many different meanings in our life and it, has, and it serves in different places and aspects in our life as well. One of the things that strength serves to me personally is, what it means to me, sorry, is going and pushing against resistance, whether it be in a physical thing or a mental thing, psychological thing. Let me give you a few examples. Strength could be going, pushing against a resistance, a weight load, which I personally use in my training. So another example could be, if you're about to argue, do you have the ability to, to hold back, to learn, to implement and understand the situation at hand to make a good outcome out of what is going on, out of the chaos of what is going on? Or do you go rushing in there, full guns blazing, and arguing, and or can you have that, that mental strength to, to hold back? Strength comes in many different forms in our life. It comes from a physical sense, it comes from a mental sense, a psychological, a spiritual sense. And I'll be going through a couple of things just to raise your awareness. First one, exercise wise strength that you're pushing against a weight or it could be in terms of you're pushing against speed, pushing against time, pushing against something that you're resisting. That's a form of strength. Resistance is a form of strength. So resistance is applied in many different aspects of our life. Again, in a in a psychological sense, strength is applied by restraining from something that may be harmful to you. So it could be in terms of holding back if you're about to argue, which we go through in our day-to-day -day life, whether it be at work, with our colleagues, or at home, with our close ones, anywhere. Strength, that, strength needs to be applied. Now to apply strength in your daily life, you've got to have some kind of awareness. Because why is it when we human beings, other human beings, we tend to let ourselves go at times. Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about, self-restraint. Self-restraint is a form of strength. Self-restraint can be used in many different aspects of our lives. Or it can be used against you. Meaning if you have no self-restraint, that means that you have no strength. There's a saying that I read, and it goes something like this. The strong is not the one who overcomes people. The strong is the one who overcomes his ego, his self. Now, how many of us out there have actually got that mental strength to succumb past our ego? That's such a hard thing, but that is so crucial to work at. That is more important, working at that, than the physical strength. Working on the psychological side of strength is more, more beneficial than actually working on the physical side, because if the physical side is strong, then you lack the mental strength. If the, if the mental strength is strong, then you'll be strong physically. This mental strength up here applies in your daily life. Meaning is in that we all go through tests and trials and tribulations. And how many of us have self-awareness in terms of when we're, engaging, when we're engaging with other people, in terms of family or it could be in terms of work colleagues, whatever, how many of us have the ability to hold back from an argument? How many of us actually go head first try to and oppose others. Now, we do that on a daily basis. Now, this is the type of strength that I'm talking about. The strength, the ability lies in holding back. That is the, the true strength. Because at the end of the day, everyone has their say. Everyone has their say from their life experiences. And at the end of the day, you just got to let a person be 
what they are because at that time in their life they hold that view but as time goes along their views and their concepts change change in life reason being is because that they're exposed to other different things other different scenarios so this is what I'm talking about this is how you raise self-awareness in terms of strength the ability to hold back is let people say whatever they want to say because that's the view that they hold in that time of life in that experience that they have that's what they'll say unless that they've seen other things and they're open and receptive to taking in new experiences in their life then at that time they can move on so guys what I could do for you here is this I'll give you two words of advice that you can adopt in your day-to-day -day life and practice it as well because these things don't happen overnight you've got to practice these okay if you want your life to become a lot more better then practice these two techniques that I'm about to tell you the first one is this in a conversation when you know that there's always a, a habitual pattern that you tend to argue with someone back it down because at the end of the day everyone has their views and their life experiences and we try to govern each other to see who's more superior right instead of actually engaging in that back off let me tell you the right time to back off is if you feel yourself heating up then back off because if you continue then you'll get caught up in that scenario and it will turn into a big bust up a big argument so if you back off I guarantee you you practice this your life will become that much more blissful the second thing I would advise you guys on is to monitor your tone, monitor you, your tone and the other person's tone because if if their tone or your tone raises then back off because if you challenge their tone and match their tone it will it'll rise and rise and rise and it will turn into a big argumentation so you want to try and avoid that and you want to try and create a good outcome so what you do is you monitor your tone and their tone so if one is more high than the other don't try and match it back down yeah and that is how you create harmony in your workplace or in your family life try it but not just try it once try it time and time again until you get better at it until it becomes a natural thing because right now the state that we're in we have this we've been doing this the natural state that we're in is an argumentation state because we're so used to arguing with people bantering who's right who's wrong and etc etc because we've conditioned the mind to to do this for so long that if we actually take a step back and we think okay now I want resolution in my life now if you take these two steps that I've mentioned then your life will become a lot more better and you can incorporate these steps in your relationship with many people out there and it will become more and more harmonious don't forget guys these resolutions these solutions that I've given you don't come overnight and these solutions are one of many symptoms out there that can cure a lot of problems so everyone that is my insight in strength again thank you for your time for giving me the opportunity to speak until then take care stay strong stay focused and always seek to become a better person live to learn to improve bye for now